Hey everybody, this is Horatio from Mexico, here again with another video, after a long period of time, yeah. Today I am bringing to you the fourth and the last part of this series that I've been showing so far. Now the question should be, why to share another part of the same illustration? Well, the answer is simple, because I wasn't satisfied with the last result, at all. So I decided to improve this one and take it to another level. Therefore, I'll try to pinpoint very broadly the decisions I made in this process. So here we go. First of all, I wanted to change the skin tone of this girl as it was looking kind of yellowish. And to be honest, I didn't like that. So I started by desaturating it and moving some of the hues in order to make it look much more of a real skin tone. Second, the main light source. I decided it to come from one particular point on the top, so the general illumination would have much more sense. Third, the light hitting on the face. I made it much softer. Meanwhile, the shadows, I made them much darker. That way, the elements of the face could stand out much more. Fourth, the core light reflected on the reflective elements like the hair, eyes, nose, lips and earrings. It is much crisper this time. As a side note, I wanted to emulate them to the real life. Fifth, I made the most of the background color by putting some ring lights on the sides. To my opinion, it boosts the interest of the illustration way more. As you can see, the color is reflected not in the bright areas only, but in the dark ones though. Sixth, talking about upgrades, I decided to grow the hair on the shoulders. The reason why is because I thought the shirt was not a priority element, so I ended up putting it in second place, so the hair could preserve that main character instead. Seventh, referring to the shirt, the light that hits it is much warmer, so it is not out of place and creates instead a relationship between the other elements now. Eight, getting back to the background, I grew it a little more just to fill some of the blank space around. Ninth, I used the Lookify tool in order to correct some details that looked off place and I wasn't pretty happy with, to make it look much nicer and balanced. In short, to improve the whole illustration. I noodled around some details here and there for a little while, but in general that's what I can talk about this piece. Probably you noticed that during the process I went to the previous and current layers to track my progress, such as mirroring the image a couple of times to check all the possible amendments I could have made, all with the purpose to make it look different. Well, I'm satisfied now, what else I can say? Oh, before I wrap up. I gotta confess that I ended this piece a couple of years ago. You can see the date right below the signature. Yeah, just as I said at the beginning, it took a lot to upload this one. And for whatever reason, I'm not proud of that. Probably my esteem wasn't prepared enough back in the day. But well, now that's something of the past. Finally this video could see the light, at last. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this material useful somehow,
please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to receive further notifications of this channel, hit the bell notification button. That's all, people. Have a beautiful day and blessings to all of you. Bye-bye.